Good afternoon, my brothers and sisters. I'm addressing this message today to the church. And to you, I say, thus saith the Lord, it's time to take back what Satan has stolen. Lord says to his disciples, whom I am chief of, whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give it to you. Seven days to the inauguration of Joe Biden, he does not even know the help he's going to need. So I'm asking you to go into your prayer closets the next seven days and call upon the Lord. He's already heard your cry, but he wants to hear your desire to repent But the distance that the church is from the first century church is as far as the east coast of the United States, it's from the west. A lot of unclean stuff has gotten into the church. So again, I say to you, I am Brother James. And God has already heard your cry. To the backsliders, I say he's thrown you a lifeline that you might return to him. And I ask that you share this video around the earth. Because last Wednesday, the 6th of January, is not just happening here in this country. Hong Kong's been rioting for two years because they don't want to be in bondage and attached to China's mainland. We need some things to change and we need them right now. In 2016, the Lord said he'd give me 20 years to finish my work. I'm starting my Last one, last of my 15 years I have left. And when I leave this world, I'll be 91 years old. So I'm asking you to util utilize the wisdom that I'm sharing with you to call on him and seek him while he may be found. Again, I've told you before, whatever he's given to his apostles, he's given to the church. Apostle is one who has seen Christ. An apostle is one who has raised the dead. An apostle is one that has, is able to cast out demons. An apostle is one who is able to lay hands on the sick and raise them up out of their sick bed. An apostle is one that is a builder of your church, the body of Christ. And one more thing I may add to that as a chief apostle. During the transfiguration, Christ had all of his disciples with him on that mountain. And Moses and Elijah showed up. And all of those who would be apostles in Christ were in him on that mountain. For they all had not been called into this world yet. Share this. 
You're in the church? Then let's get busy. Seven days to the inauguration. Find your secret place and cry out to him that he might return to your heart and be first in your life. Hear me, hear me. This is only beginning. Satan has stretched out his hand and he's in, he's in a cave. But he has access to his generals throughout the top of the cave. He's in the deep. Who am I? I'm a nobody. But you can call me Brother James. Now let us move starting now. Wherever you are, speak it in your spirit. Cry out to the Most High God. He is Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, and the beginning and the end. You need him right now. And he's here. As I told you in another video that he sent three angels. into the world to watch over black women, black children. He watches over the fatherless and the widows. That's his word. You need him, use your power. He's waiting on you to call on him. Open your hearts to him. He's given us grace and mercy right now. And the reason he sends grace and mercy is because it holds back judgment. Do as I asked you. If you're a Christian, born again, sealed with the spirit and then sanctified and filled with the holy ghost and power from on high i'm not talking about the paula whites of this world the kenneth copelands of this world i'm not talking about these fakers a true christian suffers on the battlefield who am i I'm a man that had five heart attacks, a stroke, and God himself did a surgery on me with a, a tumor in my colon. Who am I? Nobody. But you need to move throughout the earth in your prayers. Don't pray for no evil things, nobody that's doing evil. Jesus didn't do it that way. He did it according to those that the Father gave him. He prayed for you and for me. So let's get this done. There's a lot more coming yet. Let his grace abide in you and move. My family don't even know who I am. But most of the time, my siblings weren't allowed to even say where they think I was. Why? Because Satan has been after me since I was born. But that I would stand behind him in that dungeon he's in, in a dream and a vision with the Lord took me there. And I heard this great stone be removed from his top that he had access to his generals. Satan is very well built up in his empire. And what you see, because you can't see totally, is a demonic thing working against you. The unbelievers don't believe that. But the believers should. You've had your book. You should know what's in your book, your Bible. It's all there. 
scientists have been trying to tear it apart and find out what's it all about. But they have not the Holy Spirit to do that. To open any door, you have to have the Holy Spirit. And evil does not have the Holy Spirit. That's why the word of God says, greater is he that's in you than he who is in the world. I've seen Satan and Legion in the cemetery talk to Jesus. I've seen Satan go up to the sons of God and talk to God. But I ain't never and nowhere in that book seen where he talked to the Holy Spirit. That just is not going to happen. So let's get this done. Because there's more times we'll need to get together and pray. For the next seven days, you go at it with a fervent prayer, which means fiery. Use your anointing oil. Brother said one day to me when I asked him to pray for his daughter, get, I asked her to get the oil. She presented it to him. Praise all the time. He said he had never done this before. Was that a blessing to him? You bet you it was. What about you? Let's move on this right now. I'll be there with you in the Holy, Holy Spirit. Now we need to pray and seek the Lord. And who am I? I'm nobody. God bless you.